Welcome to iCharts for NetSuite. In today's video, we're going to be going through some awesome interactivity features, as well as some customizable and more advanced formatting options, and ultimately how to create one of these charts and dashboards. One of the other things that we're also going to go over is sharing these charts across your organization and allocating the necessary permissions to see them and display them vividly and correctly on your dashboard. So one of the first things that you can do with iCharts, and one of the things you'll notice right when you first look at a chart, is that you can actually hover over the bars and get a little bit of extra information about the data that's actually behind this chart. iCharts is ultimately a visualization layer that is based on NetSuite Save Searches. What they are essentially is pivots, taking the existing values of the Save Search and grouping them into particular buckets. But our pivots go one level deeper. If you look on this chart to the left, you can see that all of the transactions are being grouped by the period in which they took place, giving you this four-month timeline right here. But where iCharts goes one level deeper is we allow you to do a secondary grouping, sort of a grouping inside of a grouping. And what that allows you to do is break down those transactions by the values of an entirely different save search field. So you can see here that with our four-month periods, these are our transactions, but then we're actually breaking them down by the account field, which is then showing you that instead of around $20 million worth of revenue in September, this chart gets new life. It's now $12 million in software license subscriptions, $5 million in maintenance, and looks like just under a million dollars in professional services. This allows you to get a much clearer, much more significant, at-a-glance visibility view of your data. Without having to do anything, or manipulate the chart or the underlying data, you can see right now exactly what is going on with this data set in real time. That's another very important aspect of iCharts. All the charts are real time. The entire experience is native to NetSuite. No more exporting, importing to Excel, data manipulation. We're using all the existing data, all the existing save searches that you have to bring you these charts and dashboards. So one of the things that you can also do with iCharts is you'll notice that at the top of this chart here, there's these little drop downs, uh, reseller and partner. What these are, are iCharts filters. What these do is they work exactly like save search criteria, filtering out or choosing to select particular data elements that you're interested in. So for example, if I want to see how the revenue by source account is doing for maybe a particular partner during this four month period, I can just go over to this partner field right here. I can scroll down and find the partner that I'm interested in from the partner list that's actually being populated from the safe search in real time. I can select my particular partner and click apply. And what you'll notice is right now the chart will automatically snap to form and only show me transactions that are adhering to that new filter or save search criteria that I just specified right here on the chart. One thing to keep in mind is that these filters operate entirely independently from the save search. So I can go and manipulate this filter and make it show whatever I want and the underlying search is entirely unaffected. One of the other interesting things that you can do with iCharts is if you look on the top left hand side, you'll see that you can, there's a save button here. This allows you to save the chart as an image to your downloads folder, which then allows you to circulate it across your organization as an image, of course, whether that be through an email or a PowerPoint. With any image, it will lose that sort of real-time nature of the charts, so don't expect your images to be automatically updating after you email them out. But ultimately, that is basically how you use the tool. A lot of slicing and dicing that you can do right on the chart itself, and because this experience is entirely native to NetSuite, I can always see at any point in time the underlying records that make up these bars. So what I can do is if I hover over one of these bars here and I want to see, you know, hey, what happened with this $9 million worth of professional service revenue in the month of November? A bit of a mouthful, but ultimately a very valuable piece of information. What I can do is I can click right on it and click view data. What this does is this opens a brand new pop-up that will show me all of the records in NetSuite. And then you can see them right here on the screen. It has all of the attributes of those particular records adhering, of course, to just that professional service revenue account criteria that we specified on the chart, as well as the time criteria that we specified with November 2014. From here, this is existing NetSuite functionality totally taking over. I can go in and click View, and what this does is this will open the attributes of that particular record right here on the screen, and I can basically see everything, every single attribute of this record. So now that you've seen how to interact and manipulate the data that's populating these charts, the next important feature is how to actually create one of these beautiful charts and dashboards. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm just going to switch roles, and this is to show you some of the best practice charts that come preloaded inside of your iCharts instance. 
The way this works is that we've created a bunch of save searches that you can actually use to drag and drop the fields that you want in order to populate a chart. So now, the way that we actually go about and create a chart is the entire experience is actually driven from the iCharts tab. If I go to the iCharts tab, which can be provisioned to you by your NetSuite administrator, I can go to Data Visualization and click Create New. What this does is it opens the iCharts Data Loader tool, which allows me to select my data source. What I can do is I can do a NetSuite Safe Search, a Merge Data Set, a summarized Excel spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet, or I can add data manually. The Merge Data Set is a particularly interesting feature because it actually allows you to amalgamate two different saved searches onto one chart. You, of course, have to join these by using a common field, so like a date, or you know somebody's name, something like that. As long as you're comparing apples to apples, the mashup chart should mash up your data set. But for the purposes of this video, just going to use one save search for now. What I can do is click on that, and that opens this little window right here. I can select the record type of my save search. I'm going to choose transaction. And what this does is it then allows me to select the save search from my dropdown. I am sure that many of you have lots of save searches inside of your NetSuite, as this account does as well and I'm going to choose this preferred search transaction. And what you can actually do is you can just enter in the save search ID right here, and the tool is actually smart enough to go in and find the chart inside of your NetSuite. Once I have the save search that I want, I can click Create Chart. So now we are in the iChart Studio, and this is where you can actually use the fields from your save search to simply drag and drop the pivots that you want to do on the chart. And I'm actually going to show you exactly how to do that right here. So you can see that we got a bunch of save search fields right here. I can actually pick the save search field that I want, and I'm actually curious about how my sales reps are doing on their transactions. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab my sales rep field and just drag and drop it right here. And you'll notice that now it adds a little sales rep blue button at the top of my screen. What I can do is I click into this sales rep button here, and you'll see it has a list of all of the sales reps that are existing inside of the save search. So I'm going to select all my sales reps. I'm not going to select the none. I'm also going to sort these by value. And then I'm going to click Make Changes. So now what happens is we're grouping all of the transactions of these sales reps by the individual sales rep who did these transactions. And of course, from here, the chart is very formatable. I can basically make it a little bit taller, you know, make it so I can fit those names a little bit better on the screen. And there we go. You can see the beginning, a semblance of an actual chart. But this is just one of the many dimensions that iCharts has. We actually have four. This is the label axis, sort of the primary dimension with which we're doing our pivot. But the other dimension that we can do is also called the value. What I can do is click inside of here where it says select measure, and this determines the metric that I'm actually going to be using to populate my chart. So I can use the dollar amount of the transactions, I can use the average selling price of the transactions. Any numerical value inside of the save search can be used as a numerical field inside of the chart. I'm actually just going to stick with the amount, and now that I have the amount, I can click Make Changes, and the chart will update just to say that I've selected that particular amount. What I can now do is incorporate some of that extra level pivoting inside of this chart. And the way I do that is I can go to this variables tab right here that's inside of this chart toolbox. And this brings me my list of save search fields. What I can now do is select any one of these category based fields, like the sales rep, the opportunity status, um, you know, one of these things that has actual text inside of it. And I can actually choose to break down these bars by that save search field and the values inside of that field. And the one I'm going to choose is I'm going to choose Opportunity Status. I can actually take this and drag and drop it just like I did for the sales rep. And now it adds a little button that says All Opportunity Statuses. From here, I can click inside. It expands another window. And this is our third dimension, the Compare, which is like another pivot. I can select all of the Opportunity Statuses based on the Save Search field and click Make Changes. What this does is it then breaks the bars down by those particular opportunity statuses and displays them right here on the screen. From here, I can do a little bit of moving. You know, I can adjust the legend so it accommodates some of those additional values. And there we go. We have the beginnings of a very nice looking chart. But ultimately what I really want to see is I actually want to see these bars stacked on top of one another. And the way I can do this is I go to the chart type tab right here 
and click Stacked Bar. This will allow us to stack the bars and consolidate some of that extra space that was being taken up by the actual bars sitting parallel to one another instead of stacking on top of one another. So that's a much better looking chart. It's easier to read. You can sort of understand exactly what's going on right there. Um, I can then go to the Variables tab again, and I can also add a filter. Um, so this is the final, the fourth and final dimension of the iCharts tool. Let's say I actually want to filter these by maybe a particular month. So I'm going to choose the period. Just like I did for all the other fields, I can just grab this period and drop it right here on the chart. You'll notice that the filters are sort of denoted in yellow. It allows you to sort of differentiate the particular filters from the other dimensions that are existing in the chart. Just like the other aspects of the chart, I can click into it and it gives me all of the save search values right here on the chart itself. So let's say I just want to look at, you know, maybe I'm curious about the last three months of 2014. So I'm just going to do December, October, November. I can click make changes and now the chart will change to just show me December, October, and November. I know it didn't look like a significant change, but you'll see that the scale actually changed on the chart to show you just those three periods of time uh, what transactions were existing there. So that's pretty much it. That's sort of very easily how to create a chart and dashboard right here on your screen. The next part would be to actually save this chart. So I'm just going to save this and call this onboarding. Chart. And from here, I can select an additional feature that allows me to expose these chart filters right here on the chart itself. So if I choose chart without filters, it will just be what's inside of the chart canvas. If I choose chart with filters, it will display these four dimensions for the user to ultimately manipulate the data on the final published product. So I'm going to choose chart with filters and click save. Now this chart is saved and living inside of iCharts. What I can then do is publish this out to a NetSuite dashboard. I can click publish and click Publish to NetSuite. This will allow me to select a portlet with which to populate my chart. I'll let this load and I can call this Onboarding Portlet and click Publish. And now this chart has been published to that portlet and is available for my NetSuite dashboard. So now that I've actually published this chart to that portlet, the next task is to actually put it on the dashboard so that someone can consume that information. The way I do that is I can go to this personalized menu right here. I can add a custom portlet, which is just the hammer and wrench, just by clicking on it. And then I can do please set up. I can find my onboarding portlet from my list of portlets here and click save. And now that chart is published and on a NetSuite dashboard for someone to consume. It's loading in, bringing in the latest and greatest data, and you can see it's right here, just like it was in our creation tool, and it's available for us to do a number of the interactivity features that we articulated earlier. One of the other things that you can keep in mind is that any one of these charts is able to be published to any portlet. You can also have the same chart in multiple portlets, and you can have as many charts as you want inside of a portlet. Sharing a chart is as simple as sharing the portlet and making sure that the person has access to the safe search. Other than that, they should be able to see their data. And keep in mind that is their data. We are adhering to all of NetSuite's permissions and securities that they have. Their data right there on their portlet, immediately consumable and accessible to them, really allowing you to get the most out of that NetSuite vet investment and further the reporting tools that you already have. If you guys have any questions or anything else you guys want to learn about iCharts, please feel free to visit our knowledge base. This is accessible to you from the iCharts tab. Just go to help and support and click knowledge base. Or reach out to us at info at iCharts.net. Get you plenty of great information about the tool and help you get started as quickly as possible. Thanks for your time.